was born and raised in South Philadelphia, Pash Young Projects. Uh, Pash Young Projects was a unique situation in that it prepared me for life. Um, of course, it was a low income housing development. So as I grew up, I was faced with a lot of adversity, a lot of things that come from your environment and it taught me how to survive. Both of my parents were poly substance abusers and that means that they were addicted to multiple drugs at one time. So growing up in my house, my mother made sure she provided everything for me but my father was absent and I had to deal with the stresses that come along with, with having parents that was addicted to drugs. My mother died, which caused me to go to counseling. Through counseling, I picked up the desire to be a therapist. When I had to do my internship, I was able to do my internship at Shaw University where I had graduated from previously. And through that process, I became employed as a substance abuse counselor at Shaw University. So my walk into therapy, into the process was laid out for me. And then from being at Shaw University as a therapist, I branched off and opened up my own private practice. When I was growing up as a kid, I used to listen to hip hop music. Um, I didn't have a lot of positive influences. So hip hop music was the way that I got a lot of my knowledge. I remember Public Enemy having a song, Fight the Power and different songs like that. And that's when I started realizing the power of music. So often when I found myself upset or depressed about things, I would listen to music and find areas where I relate to and I would love that song. I don't identify myself strictly as a hip hop therapist, but I do practice hip hop therapy. And because other practitioners didn't know how to utilize hip hop therapy, I decided to write a curriculum, a manual where I actually teach other therapists how to utilize hip hop therapy in their training. And it's been very successful. It's a practice that's been placed all around the country and different therapists are utilizing it. And it's a big movement. Myself and other hip hop therapists, we go into those songs and we dissect and we bring out all the positive stuff and how we can use those same words to help channel people and help them deal with their interpersonal stresses. And it's very successful. It's successful for people who have an appreciation for hip hop music. But overall, I can use music therapy to help people because music is a calming coping skill. And I love music. I deal with all, all types of clients. I have clients with um, sexual identity crisis. I have at-risk youth. I have, uh, I have doctors that I work with, lawyers, um, people come in for grief, marriage counseling, the whole spectrum of counseling. I, do, I don't um, specialize in one type of practice per se. Um, my style is what they call eclectic, means that I borrow from different styles. I use some person-centered therapy. I use cognitive behavioral therapy. I use motivational interviewing. I use hip hop therapy. I use gestalt therapy. So what I like to do is take uh, interventions from all different types of therapies and put them into my own style which makes it so that I can work with various populations. So I'm well versed with working with everyone. The way that I think that I'm successful is just meeting the client where they're at and um, just having a, a real conversation with them. I don't think, I don't believe therapy is being so much of a um, one person's in charge. It's, it's a relationship. When I'm working with clients, we build a relationship. During the course of therapy, you find out that there's other issues. A person could come in and they're upset and we're talking about anger. And then we find out that they're an alcoholic or the drug addiction is what's contributing to the anger. So those things come up and then we have to be resourceful in figuring out how we can help those clients get the necessary resources that they need to help tackle those other issues. What makes me a great therapist is my ability to relate and understand with my clients. My ability to establish a rapport to, to build a connection and to have a non-judgmental environment and a non-judgmental position. So I have a lot of tattoos, uh, a lot of inspirational things for me. Like on this tattoo, it says everything to gain. And this is like where I have some of my family members here. I have a tattoo here about being a Mason and I also have my Sigma tattoo up here. So I like to have tattoos. A lot of people look at tattoos and they get disheartened by them or they wonder. And to me, it's just a representation. Basically at DRC Therapeutic Services, you get direct realistic counseling and all of the therapists that I'm going to employ are going to be just that. We're going to offer realistic solutions to realistic problems. I believe in therapy. I think that everyone should engage in therapy. DRC Therapeutic Services is um, going to be a therapeutic services that is for the people and by the people.